Ah, it's going to be good time, good stuff. Be'ezad Hashem. Today we're learning <coughs> continuation to have Kavanot and Tefillah. <coughs> Shi'ur number six, I believe. Yeah. Shi'ur number six. And this learning should be Le'lu Nishmat Abo Ben Sivyo, Ari Ben Burcho, Michoel Ben Dino, Vegam Le'lu Nishmat Rosa Bad Mazal Zine Zilpo Bad Shiflo. Vagam? Available or Bad Estel? Chai Sara Bad Sipora Sveta. Vagam? Ari Ben Burcho. Malkil Ben Sivio. Vagam? Eliezer Ben Sara Oi. Vagam? Mafrad Bad Malka. Menashe Ben. Ah, no, no. Ephraim Ben Malka. Vagam Eliezer ben Tamara, Tzadiko ben Eliezer ben Tamara, second one. And call and if any one if they do a chesem to nichem baganed and nichem yirzo onomar, amen. And the Kadosh Baruch Hu should send the fuah shlema to all the sick people. Amen. Bichlalam, Eliezer ben Sara ben Betty, Betty ben Eliezer, Vagam Avrash ben Mazal Nisan ben Mashiach, Vagam Nathaniel ben Angela, Vagam. Ruham Apparel, Malam, Ruham Apparel, Malkalea, but Hannah Serral and Israel Ben Besanda. Israel Ben Besanda, and also Avanash Ben Masal. Who knows this guy? Vladimir Ben? Da. Ben Sara. Leo, Leo, Mamma. Vladimir Ben Leo. You guys know him? Я его знаю. Да. Я знаю. Сколько ему лет? Владимир. Он сейчас дома или в больнице? Владимир. Is he home? The first name, guys, say the first name from us to him. Okay. 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 We learned last week Chirik, I remember. And then we stopped by Netzach. That was Moshe Rabenu, and we learned about light leg. Speaking and so on. Okay, today we'll go to the next one called Hod. Hod is also a type of winning, but it is winning for connecting. Connecting Jewish souls together. Hod Milashon Hoda'a, through appreciation. So let's write down. Today's class starts from Sefila Hod. Or in English, hod. From the word hodaa. Somebody called hodaya. What's name? Hodaya. Thank you. Hod stands for hodaa. Hodaa means thank you. Hod. <coughs> thank you. This is sefila of. Aharon Cohen. This is Sefila of Aharon Cohen. Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem, guys. Nice thing. Ah, you are Aharon Cohen, guys. It's also Aharon Cohen. Unbelievable. Baruch Atah Adonai Nanu Melech Olam Shakon Yom Dvaron. Okay. And this is thanks to which book it refers to? Tehelim. Whenever we read Tehelim, Hashem, thank you, save me from this, save me from this, save me from that. Hod stands for thank you, which is book Tehelim. Tehelim. 
My daughter comes to me today and says, why do you use Tehillim? I said, I'm just to heal him. Tehillim. <laughs> to heal him. I said, what makes you safe in this world? She said, I don't know. I said, safe for Torah. <laughs> safe for Torah. Hmm. Okay. Umidad hot kishura le aharon. And now, what is this going to? Thanking, 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 hot, and it's connected to two major things. Number one, refua. Refua. Refua means what? Healing. Heal. Healing. I was joking to heal him, tell him, but it comes out true. And also Moadim. Moadim. Holidays. One of the ways to explain why do we have pets and Shavuot called holidays is thanking Hashem for taking us out of Mitzrayim. Holidays to make thank you. Have to you, have to Hashem. Have you enjoy food and have you sit and learn Torah. That is thanking Hashem. Nekuda ta kubutz. The nekudot are like this. Kubutz. Okay. Or. You make the usa? Kubutz. Kubutz sound, 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 ooh, sorry. It's like this. <coughs> it comes under the letters. So this is. Will be spelled like that. Yud and then hey and then vav and then hey with. Somebody sick. <coughs> what do you have come on, on him? And the name of Hashem that with kubus. You want all oh, something good happen to you? Say, I want an Hashem. Thank you. You have French when I say you see Hashem's name with kubus. You say special thank you to so, which which prayer is this in Shmonaisra? Huh? You sure about that? I thought you found the more book. Check it out one more time to make sure. He said it's in the bracha of Modim. Does it make sense to you? Oh, yeah, it's Should be. You checked it? <coughs> and second one where? Take a shot. I told you how to It's not in Modim. Yeah. Okay, if you say so, fine. Hatoshim Chau Chana Elodot. Modim, which is Bracha after Modim. Hatoshim Chau. Hashem is good to Hatoshim Chau Unechana Elodot. It's good for your name and for you to be praised. It's good to praise you and your name. This is what we say. What praise? Praise for what? Thank you, Hashem. You wake up in the morning. First thing, what do you say? Mode. Thank you, Hashem. You should know. One rabbi taught me many years ago. Why you have so many Kaddish in the Shmona, in the, in the Tfilah? You start something Kaddish, a little bit more Kaddish. Baruch Shamar Kaddish. After Baruch Shamar Baruch Hu Kaddish. After Baruch Shamar I say Kaddish. After Shmona, why so Kaddish? I got till here. Thank you, Hashem. I got till here. Thank you, Hashem. I got till here. Thank you, Hashem. Thanking is life. Thanking is connection. Thanking is everything. It's good to praise your name, Hashem. That is Hoda'a, and that is the book of Tehillim. Something good happens to you, what do you say, Tehillim? Hashem, thank you. All holidays, thanking Hashem. That is the letter three dots of kubus and it comes once in Atos Shumcha and Bone Yerushalayim it comes two times when you want to pray for Yerushalayim Hashem says first say thank you to me and then you'll get Beit HaMikdash the whole thing in life stands for thank you Ukeshura, the kibbutz nirche Israel, and it is connected to the gathering of the lost souls of Jewish nation, all kinds of Jewish nation, and this has to do connected Yerech Small, and this has to do with the 
left leg. The connection of this is last week we learned about right leg. Today, Yerak Semol, left leg. Really, it has nothing to do with the person's left leg. It has to be in spiritual left leg. But it's good to get connected to that. Ah, he came. Now we'll get something a little bit deeper to this. What means kibbutz? From the word kibbutz stands for the word kibbutz. Kibbutz is to gather. Gather everyone together. Umra mez al kibbutz is al me'abakit. Kanfot tevel hamuzgar behol. Unity of all types of people. Right down. I'll tell you one thing. He's going to say, oh, now I know what he's talking about. Unity. Right down. Of all types of people. Who was Aharon Akoen? Who was he? Very good. Aharon stands for... Ohev Shalom, Vero Dev Shalom. Loves peace and runs after peace. When you get to that level, when you have structure in your brain to say, Thank you. You see anybody says hello to you, thank you, thank you, hello, thank you, thank you. Then you get to love people. When you love people, you'll be able to get them closer. You don't love people, you love something else or someone else or something else or some other thing that comes after that. You'll never get to get people together. Why? You'll get yourself together to what? To nothing. Selfishness. But when you love people, You'll get them closer to Hashem. Why? <coughs> Look what Hillel says. Have me tell me thou shall. What's your name? Aharon. Be student of Aharon. Ohev Shalom. Merodev Shalom. Love peace, one of the peace. Ohev et abriot. Love people. Ume karvan le Torah. And bring them closer to Torah. What Hillel as I can say. When you can bring people closer to Torah. When you love people. You don't know people, you're not going to get them close to Torah. That is the main Ikar law in the life. And who's teaching us this? Aaron Akoen. Why he has to teach us? Should I give you a secret? Yes or no? Yes. It's not from this book. And I'm sure he knows this also. Rahmat, he was big tzaddik, this person who wrote this book. But how do we know this? How do we know this? Who remembers Aaron, uh, Abraham Avinu's brothers? How many brothers were they? Three. Let's go. After I will write it, I will erase it. But if you have, I don't know. Okay, after this kiddush, we're going to take out food. Robertson, thank you. And all the herbals, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank thank you. you. Thank it you. smells good and delicious. I mean, tasty. I'm sorry. Now, Aaron Akoen, two minutes fast we have to do because food's getting cold. Aaron Akoen, Abraham Avinu had. Not Aaron Akoen. Abraham Avinu had altogether three brothers. Who are the names? Who was the first one? Nahor. Nahor then? Haran and? Avram. What was in the beginning? Avram. Then became Abraham. Now, let me write down in Hebrew only this one. Haran. You write like this. Listen to me. Write it down. You will enjoy it. Ha? Run! Haran! Huh? <laughs> when Aram Avinu was thrown into the fire by Urod, I'm sorry, Nimrod, <laughs> by Nimrod. He was thrown to the fire. Before Aaron was thrown, Haran jumped. Ariza la Kadosh, Ariya Kadosh says, his neshama came to Shamayim. 
And he said, Hashem, where do I be? Where, where, where do I belong? Hashem said, well, gain again. He said, what do you mean? I jumped. So what you jumped? He said, you don't understand. If I wouldn't die, people would think it's fake fire. Because I died and Abraham Avinu coming out live, people know a miracle happened to him. So Hashem said, I'm sorry, that's not a good excuse. But he said, you know what, Hashem, I have different reasons. Why should you still save me? Why? How much give out the hay? Five. five. Out of ten, five is what? Uh, Middle, half. If you want, I'll write it also. <coughs> How much give out the hay? 200. What's the last letter in the Torah? Tav. Tav is 400. The last letter in the Torah, what? The last letter in the alphabet. Okay, alphabet. What's the last letter? Tav. Give out the 400. The half is? So Rash is the half. And Nun is how much Gimatria? 50. Out of 100, you take half what? 25. Out of 100, you take half. 50%. So he says, Hashem, why you want to put me in Gaina? My name is 50 50. Hey is 50 50. Rash is 50 50. Nun is 50 50. So I have to be 50 50. Hashem said, So what do you want? He said, Give me a chance to fix myself. Wow. And I will fix myself. Hashem said, okay, I'll give you a chance. So you shouldn't be 50-50, but you, you should be 100% towards my name. How many gods in the world? One. one. What's give, what letter? A one? Aleph. Aleph. Here's Aleph. Hashem said, you have to take all this and run, tilt it to one. One Hashem. So when you do that, it will be the name Aharon. So let's put it together now. And here, where Aaron Akoel was created from, Hashem sent Aaron Akoel, really originally he was brother of Abraham Avinu, who jumped into the fire. And now he has to take all his essence, wherever he is, and bring it people closer to Hashem. Bring people, bring people close to Hashem, and he fixes Hey, Resh, and Nun because of Allah. You understand? And this is how he became Aaron Akoel. And now, what he did. When can his Aleph and the Heron will be together? When he brings people closer to Hashem. Therefore, it says what? Oh, have Shalom. Rodev Shalom. He loves peace and he runs after peace. Can I tell you something? The truth from this, you know what I learned? I learned like this for myself. I'm not going to talk about you. You won't go home tonight before you go to sleep. Make your own decision. I learned for myself. My name is? Yosef is not Yosef. If I don't run after people to bring them closer to Hashem. If I did not run after somebody's name is Yitzchak, then my youth is not here. Or I didn't run after somebody else whose name is, uh, I don't know. Fine, Vanya. But it would start with the Anything that has wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Madia, okay. I didn't run after person name of Madia. Hashem says, that's all. You lost your wow. And then somebody who uh, starts with someone. For example, I'm giving you an example. Therefore, therefore, what is our job to do in this world? Our job is to run after people and bring them closer. When you fix somebody, actually you're fixing yourself. This is what Arona Cohen is teaching us. By bringing people closer to Hashem, you become <coughs> complete you. Once you complete you, you're the most happiest person in the world. Why? I don't want to go deeper to this. It's too complicated with Neshamot and all this. But it's simple. Love people, bring them closer to Hashem. You see somebody is not going to Shul on Shabbat. What costs for me to give him a hello and give him a hug? That's all. You, you you give him a hug, he feels it, he's going to come to Shul. And who brought him to Shul? You. He's walking to Shul every step. His mitzvah have goes to you. But what if you go to him? He wants to say, hello, you turn around. Hashem says, listen to me. Yeah. I give you opportunity to see him, that he should give you a hello to get closer to Hashem. And now you turn around, you are responsible for him now. Therefore, it's very important to recognize people, say hello. Listen, today... After Corona, we realized, whatever you have, whatever you have, uh, the main thing is your health. 
The main thing is, are you healthy? You rich. Okay. So anyone sees you in the street or you see somebody else, say hello. Saying hello is good for you. <coughs> Remember this beautiful story? I'll say it one more time. 50 Shochatim, 1992-1993, 26, 27 years ago, 28. They were sent to, I don't know, Arizona, I don't know, Italy, I don't know, somewhere, maybe in America, somewhere in the United States, from Israel. They had to send 50 Shochatim because America did not have kosher meat, glad kosher meat. So they sent 50 Shochatim. Every Shochet, can you imagine? Thousand cows, each one makes shechita. Thousand, you know how much blood you see? Next, next, you know, thousand cows a day. They get crazy. So they don't want to see anybody and then they, they will stink. They want to take a shower and go to sleep. <coughs> Out of 50 rabbis, Shochatim, only one was Ben Adam. A doorman, black man, opens the door and says, Thank you, sir. You are the best. I appreciate it. How was your day? Let's talk two minutes. He said, Really? Let's talk, my friend. I had chilling this night. He says, Good night. Sir. Good night. Mm -hmm. Go to sleep. Comes in the morning. Hi, how are you? Good morning. How was your sleep at night? Everything was good. Like, you know, they became friends basically. One night, this doorman, 12 o'clock at night, he sees everybody came. He went to the chief rabbi. He said, I'm sorry. One rabbi is missing. He said, What are you talking about? There are 50 rabbis. Hotel rooms are booked. Everybody's sleeping already. They're all sleeping. He said, no, no, no. I feel like one rabbi is not there. Let's go back to look for him. So they went back. He says, what is he taking? A checkpoint over here? So he went back. They come to the big, how do you say, big refrigerator. Oh, Walking walk fridge. Walking fridge. The whole block. Can you imagine? Huge. Thousand cows. Okay. Each one makes shita and then they pick it up. The meat and they stick into the refrigerator. They come, they put all the lights, one side of the fridge, they see nothing there, nobody. They went to the second side of the fridge, they put light on, they see a rabbi running around inside the fridge and turning himself around, not to get frozen. To keep coldness away from his body. Do you look at him, oh, what happened? He says, guys, how did you forget about me? You left out of the light. You know, they said, sorry, they didn't realize you. And what happened to him? Who saved him? This, this doorman. So what happened is they picked him up, they put stuff on him, hour and a half took him to come to normal to himself. Then he went back to sleep and then the big rabbi, the chief rabbi came up to him and said, listen, how did you know he's not here? His friend's already sleeping. How? He says, this is the only guy who sees me in the morning and says, good morning, thank you for holding the door. And good evening, thank you, how was your day today? Let's speak 30, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. He says, he's warm, hello. Made me recognize and realize that he was not here. Guys, our hello is good to us. It's good to us. You bring somebody closer to us and good for you. You get long life for them. And it is very important. So let's recognize people. I want to stop over here. It's food time right now. We'll enjoy the food. We'll say to everybody. And I also prepared some l'chaim for you. We'll say some l'chaim. Not so much now. After the second shoot, I'll make sure everyone leaves from here drunk, basically. <laughs> 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 <laughs>